Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about On1360, and I'm going to give you all the information you need to begin using it. Now let's start out with, what is On1360? Well, I'm going to characterize it as a system. It's a system that allows you to take an image that was created really anywhere. It could have been created on a camera, could have been created on your smartphone, could have been created uh, on your tablet. You would take that image and you could edit it on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. You could then continue the edits on a different device and then even continue the edits on another device and so on. So that's why they're calling it On1360. It really is kind of a circular editing system. You could have an image that begins life on a camera. You load that raw file on your computer, begin the edits with On1 Photo Raw 2020, and you, let's say you didn't finish them. You could go and then continue your edits on your smartphone. And let's say you don't finish them there. You could continue the edits right where you left off on a tablet. And then let's say you didn't finish them there but you're back home in front of your computer and you could finish off the edits on your computer if you like. Now, that's one way. Another way is you could be out with your smartphone and you could just see something interesting. Take an image with your smartphone. And let's say you don't feel like editing the image on your smartphone, but you have that image on your smartphone. Well, it syncs with the cloud through on 1360 and once you get home, you could edit that smartphone image on on one photo raw 2020 without doing any uploading or downloading on your own. It all is done automatically. So um, it's a really, really versatile system that allows you to edit an image just about anywhere. Now I'm going to demonstrate um, how to use it one way. The way I'm going to show you is I have a set of images. They were taken with a camera. These are raw files that were loaded on my computer and they're in On1 Photo Raw 2020. And let's just say, for the sake of argument, I want to edit this image right here. But I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to edit this image not only on my computer, but I want to be able to have the ability to edit it on my smartphone and my tablet if I want to. So what I need to do is to put it in an album that is syncing with the On1360 cloud service. Now to do that, we'll go over to the left-hand panel and see where it says album, we'll click on that little plus sign. We're gonna create an album. And we're gonna give it a name, and I'm going to call it uh, my 360 album. You could, of course, call it anything you want. And I'm going to add the selected items, that is the selected image, and I'm going to publish to On1360. Now you have the option of doing the original image or an edited preview. The original image, of course, takes up more space and takes more time to upload and download. The edited preview is um, a preview image that is smaller than the original image, but according to On1, has all the same amount of colors and tones as the original image. And you even could print, um, you know, medium to smaller size prints with that edited preview. I'm going to choose the edited preview because I want to make sure that it uploads and downloads relatively quickly. These are uh, Nikon RAW files, which are rather large, so it would take a long time uh, to upload and download those on my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi isn't super fast. So I'll click edited preview and click OK. So now we have over here this On1 uh, 360 album. You can see it has these little like uh, nuclear type design there that's indicating that that is going to be syncing to the cloud. So I have the image. I'm going to go right to edit and we'll begin editing this photo on my computer and then we'll continue the edits on one of my other devices. And what I'm going to do on my computer is I'm just going to do tone right now. Uh, so I'm going to, I think I'll just bring exposure down just a touch. And I'll bring highlights down a little. i am open up the midtones a little bit. And shadows a touch. I'm going to get a white point. I'm going to hold the J key, J key in as I get my white point. When I see that red start to come through, I'm going to back it off till that red goes away. Because I don't want to clip any of those highlights. And same thing, I'll hold that J key in for blacks. And I'll move that 
until I see blue come through. And I don't mind clipping the shadows a little bit. So we'll clip those a little bit. And maybe we'll just add a touch of contrast. All right, so we just did tone adjustments on my computer. Now I want to continue these edits on, let's say my smartphone. So we're gonna do that next. Just real quick, I'll go to the browse module while we're here. And you can see this on 1360 album. That's where that image is. And that again, that little kind of nuclear sign indicates that it is an album that syncs to the cloud. So I'm going to shut down my computer and we'll continue this on my smartphone. All right, I have the On One Photo app on my iPhone XS Max, and I'm going to just open this app. And what you could do then is see that it's synced right away. That image is over there on the right-hand side, and I'll just tap on that. And we're going to want to edit that. So we'll open it like that. I'll turn my phone the long way so we get a better view of it. And if I go to the controls on the top uh, side there, if you look and I go to the light control, you could see that the contrast highlights, midtones, shadows, all that was moved because I adjusted that on my computer. So what we'll do on my phone is we'll go to color and I want to uh, warm it up just slightly. So I'm going to go to temperature and I'm going to just warm it a touch like that. And we'll add some saturation like that. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do on my phone. And then what we'll do is I'll continue this edit on my tablet, which happens to be an iPad Pro. All right, I have my iPad Pro set up, and I'm going to open the On One Photo app there. And you could see that it's immediately syncing, and there's the image that I edited to begin with on my computer, then on my iPhone, and now I'm going to continue the edits on my iPad. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to settings and since I did color already and um, maybe we'll go to effects here. So we'll go to effects and I'm going to do a color adjustment and I want to make the blue sky a bit darker. So we'll go to blue and we'll go to brightness and we'll bring that sky down a little bit Come over here, bring that down. Go to the yellow, make that a little brighter there. So I'm just doing some color adjustments overall here. And I think that's good enough uh, with the color adjustment. I think we'll add a vignette while I'm here. Go there. a little vignette just like that and I'd say okay I'm done on the phone or I'm sorry I'm done on my tablet so we'll back up and what you could always do when you're either on your device either of your devices you click on the little uh, on one um, like nuclear icon and you could get the status of its upload download of what it's doing and you could see that it's up to date with um, my edits now on this iPad were all uploaded to the cloud and now I'm going to shut this down and we'll finish up on the computer okay we're back on my computer we have the image right here we're going to go to the edit panel and we're going to look and we remember I did these tone adjustments on the computer then I did these color adjustments on my iPhone and you can see how those now carried over to the computer and if I go over to the effects module you could see that the color adjustments I did are all here go through all the different colors I adjusted are all done here and I added a vignette as well on my iPad and you could see that that is done as well so um, every adjustment done on the three devices synced to the cloud and then the cloud synced to all those devices 
So I could carry on with this edit on my computer if I needed to. I could print it from here. I could do, you know, undo the edits I did on my phone or on my iPad if I want to. So you could see how this is really, really versatile program. And I could see, especially if you're traveling or something like that, or if you happen to be out with just your phone and you don't have a camera, but you want to take some professional images with your phone, you could take the images with your phone and then edit them in on one photo raw on your computer or on your iPad or wherever you like. And in future episodes, I'll do just that. I'll take some images with my smartphone and we'll edit them on all three devices and see how it does. In the description below the video, I'll have links to On One and you could check On One 360 out for yourself. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>